Our next speaker, um, they say you can't cheat time, but he can find foes and yourself with latency tri tri terrorization. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Um, our next speaker, let's give her a round of applause. Thank you. Hello, mates. Thank you for being here and joining me in this talk, my first talk, as said, about uh, geolocation. Uh, you can't cheat time is a quote from Dr. Wu, as you can see from the TARDIS next to it. And uh, I'm Lorenzo, uh, call me Lopok if you want. And you can find me on Twitter, you can find my code, the code I'm releasing today on my GitHub. And uh, let's talk about geolocation. Geolocation is something that has always been um, important for humans and uh, was has always been a power driver for progress and uh, technical things like sextant, uh, mechanical clocks um, or uh, GPS too. So very important and even in our realm, so the cyber realm and internet is important too. Uh, now we face some limitation. Uh, almost anyone knows m large IP-based geolocation services. I don't want to name all of them, but you can just type some IPs and find with a certain precision where they are. Uh, due to the massive use of a um, cloud provider and CDNs, we can no longer use them because you just have one Anycast, one or more Anycast IPs, and you do not know where they are. You maybe find the location of the company that run that subnet, uh, nothing more. So this is what has driven my work. So looking through the uh, cloud curtain, so, um, um, so answer the geolocation question in the cloud provider uh, world. Some theory before we start. It's a mathematics and physics, don't be scared, it's very simple. Uh, this, is a, the, this is a simple one. Distance is a speed per time. This is a first order estimation of distance uh, starting from a time. So it's something very easy and have to run. So keep it in mind, but it's, it's important, it's, it's very easy. Uh, another thing is to keep it in mind, it's obvious, but Keep in mind, the, nothing can move faster than speed of light. We, even if we are hackers, we are computer scientists, we are anti-sauce, we cannot break this law. Uh, this is a law of this universe, maybe in another one, uh, it's another uh, speed, but we have to remember that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light, even information, even things on the internet. And some terminology now, latencies versus speed. Uh, we sometimes confuse them, maybe the person that knows bad best what is the difference are video gamer because the latency is actually the lag so it's a time measure and it's in milliseconds or more but it's a time measure whereas speed is uh, an amount of data or an amount of whatever uh, over a given amount of time so keep in mind this and remember the speed of light limit uh, latency cannot be arbitrary low because it's the time information takes from a point to go to another one so you cannot, uh, you, you cannot make information travel from Sydney to San Diego in two milliseconds. It's impossible. This universe doesn't want, so uh, obey the rules. Um, now trilateration. Trilateration is a well-known uh, and uh, well-known method for estimating uh, at a known position starting from known points. So it's it's, well, it's commonly used for uh, GPS, for um, tracking smartphone. Mm, okay, it's not very good use, but uh, uh, it's used for, or um, rogue radio stations, uh, and so on. So it's a very well-known method. And we need, for this recipe, some points, fixed points, from uh, where we perform our measures. And we have to know their exact point, exact position. So uh, tower, uh, radio towers, or so on. Uh, we will discuss what we will use in our, uh, uh, for our problem. Uh, then distance. 
distances. So a method for estimating distances between the unknown target and these points, and then obviously the target that is what we are looking for. So this is the, uh, the simple recipe for two data duration. Then we have another important power full tool that is a mathematical tool that is a minimizer and we will use it for providing data we have collected and inferred like points, distances and uh, it will output some of the best points the target could be. So this is something that I will not dive into, uh, dive into minimizer, but um, uh, you can. Uh, Trilateration has, uh, has been used for uh, tracking people, even via, by dating apps. Uh, it's not actually a knack, because uh, sharing distances in many um, dating app is something that is up to the user, but has been exploited for tracking people. So the system is the same same fixed points, so where you have your uh, measure points, so your client and the target, uh, the unknown target, and then do some translation. Well, uh, let's do some practice now. Oh, this is a ping. Uh, almost anyone here have used ping uh, at least one time in his life, and it's the first approach to latency. Ping is a round trip time measure from a client and a server. And um, it give, a, give us as output many parameters like the average time and so on. And by using, it's a very naive measure, but by using it, uh, we can infer some important information. Uh, for instance, in this example, we have the minimum round trip about 55 milliseconds and using it, com uh, combining it with the upper bound of speed in this universe, so the speed of light, we can assure, we can literally sign with our blood that the target cannot be farther than uh, 8.3 uh, kilo uh, kilometers. So this is a very important thing, but um, okay, surprise, surprise, it's useless. Uh, <laughs> it's Useless because because two things um, services behind the cloud are not IP services and so you cannot use ICMP protocol for reaching them. You we, you will only reach the ingress point of the CDN, so it's useless and will be the nearest to you. Second thing, it's internet, it's not linear like speed per time. Speed per time is a linear function, so it's almost useless. Internet is a fucking large amount of nodes interconnected in every way is possible and governed, governed by wave protocol like BGP. I love BGP, but it's another story. And so it's not linear at all. Ah, and all of this is projected over a spherical body in the universe, so it's not linear at all. We need to find a better model for estimating uh, a distance starting from a latency. So I've used machine learning, so anyone use machine learning today, but I used it for estimating uh, starting from a latency the actual distance, uh, more or less. Uh, machine learning requires many data. Many data, I collected around 40 kilo measure, couple of measures, source destination, each one tagged with a country code, uh, source country code, mm, code actually, um, and trained over the distance inferred via, computed via other seen functions, so the shortest arch between source and destination. So we have as features a uh, country code, and we use it uh, as a bag of words for uh, who knows what uh, machine learning data science things uh, works. And then latency times, and as output, uh, the real uh, distance. I use it then SVR, uh, support vector regression, uh, Model is very simple to use, and uh, I will run on this because we are running out of time. Uh, 
now recall the recipe. We need points. The best way to have many points around the world is, use, is using a cloud provider. Choose your favorite one and deploy some, li some lines of codes on uh, each of them. We are talking about uh, uh, cloud-fronted services like command and control, so we cannot use ICMP anymore, but we have to measure latency on application layers. So I use HTTP, uh, so I use uh, CURL for HTTP and HTTPS protocol. We have to deploy these lines of code on each point we choose. We have to compute latency. It's a simple subtraction, and um, it's and the uh, read manual of CURL is uh, perfectly explained. And then we have to compute the distance uh, using our machine learning model. And at this, uh, uh, yes, and at this point we have to erase. A point of erase uh, that are data centers and their coordinates that you have found uh, you, uh, by OSINT or Googling them or whatever, and distance inferred via uh, machine learning model and the unknown point uh, we are looking for. Now we have to do the magic with some math and we have to minimize all these things. I will go fast on this too, but it's a minimizing process over the residual between the, the hypothetical position and the distance we have collected, we have inferred before with the machine learning model. And uh, I don't know if it's clear, yes. And uh, you, you will have many outputs. I will use the, here a, short set, a small set just for uh, make it better to be understood. And this is a cloud of possible points with a centroid on the um, west of UK. And the server was actually uh, in London. So it works. The yellow, the, the yellow circle is the upper bound of the speed of light uh, radius. So we know that the point cannot be outside that circle. So it's very good for uh, just latency-based method of uh, inferring a position. But let's do something cyber. Uh, the main problem, the main things I was working on is uh, command and control behind uh, CloudFront. At the moment, uh, anyone works on threat intel in case, in case they have a, a fronted um, command and control or a malicious site for the living malware, uh, raises their hands and say, oh, we cannot do nothing. We cannot say nothing on which part of the world the, ser the service is or isn't, uh, uh, unless you call the cloud provider, but good luck if you have tried, I don't know, let me know. Um, but surprise, now and until now was impossible, I arrived to a good result in this method, and this, many, this is not precise at all. I could have put an example that was more precise, but I wanted to to say that it's not very precise. It's not, uh, it's not a kilometer precision method. Uh, here we have a real um, service be be behind the cloud front located in Rome and using only latency measures and uh, no more than a dozen of point of measures. Uh, we have this fancy heat map and an error of 600 kilometers. That in Europe is a lot, but imagine the rest of the world is, uh, I, I think, is a good result. Please appreciate it. Uh, something more that we can use this method for is sandbox uh, detection. Uh, uh, sandbox uh, many times has a fake net behind, so a system that mimics the real behavior of a network of the internet, but it's very difficult to cheat time or, or mimic the behavior of a latency um, of latency versus some some points. So we have just just we can embed our model inside the malware and uh, and a number of fixed points inside it uh, embedded in it with a uh, target country and uh, what I said before. And in presence of 
PakeNet, uh, latency will be only a few milliseconds, so the result will be something that graphically is a, a non-overlapping circles, so it's an impossible uh, mathematically solution. It's impossible. It's impossible. There's no point that minimize the function that we've seen before. Uh, we can even add some random uh, latency in fake net, but I don't know if someone uh, work for for it. We could try, but I don't think it will work. It will work be better than a real network. And the other thing, similar to the um, sandbox detection, is a malware self geolocation. And you can ship a malware with inside this model some fixed points and some automatic process for determining which area of the world is running and then turning on or turning off some features or the malware itself. So uh, I think it's, uh, it's nice things to do. Um, is it at the moment perfect? No. Is it bulletproof? Uh, absolutely not, but uh, promising. I'm very, I'm very clear. I don't want to. I don't want a wow effect. Uh, it's an early stage research, so uh, I'm very, very frank uh, on it. Then I have a demo, and here it is. Oh, is it in full screen? No. Okay. Sorry. Okay, this is the notebook, a Jupyter notebook that you will find on uh, my GitHub. Uh, it's a POC for this, and I ship it with my uh, pre-trained model, but uh, I will have to retrain it uh, again. Uh, it starts with the measures, that is, that is a long process, and then it starts estimating an offset that is the important because of the, the uh, inner latency of the computational, uh, due to the computational time of the server we are reaching. So we first determine uh, an offset for all the latency measure. We subtract them to the uh, measured latencies. And then we have to estimate distance with our uh, machine learning model. And our, these are the distances. This is uh, the main process. Uh, Trilateration uh, is done uh, with a method that we can we discuss off the records uh, for avoiding some outlier uh, and so on. And then uh, we already have the heat map now, but it's not plot plotted. We find a cluster, the largest cluster of these points, and we compute even uh, an estimation of the error. And then uh, the uh, the plotting uh, uh, the plotting time and uh, here it is uh, no popping calc like uh, my exploit friends but uh, it's nice. Uh, wait, okay. So this is the one of the example in the slides. So it's uh, an actual one. And uh, thank you for this. Then. I'm done with uh, two minutes earlier, so if some of you wants to make some question. Okay, BGP is a, um, is a big mystery for me and for almost anyone, but I came across the fact that BGP is more stable than uh, what we used to. And the machine learning, due to the fact that it is a, a large amount, not an enormous amount of data, but is a large amount of data collected, uh, it responds very well even uh, during a um, few months or a few, few weeks. So. Uh, maybe combining it with a looking glass, BGP status, and so on would be even better, but uh, I assure you that it's more stable than I expected. Oh, uh, sorry, I cannot. If you add 
Okay, uh, artificial latency, yes, it's, uh, uh, you can introduce in your services or um, an artificial latency, but would be useful, uh, but uh, if you collect uh, a large amount of measures, not just one, uh, you will find the mean value. So you will have a distribution like a Gaussian one with a randomic uh, latency artificially introduced in any service uh, or so on. And then you, you can use or the, uh, the, um, the smallest one or the mean value and you can use the system uh, in the same way, just with a slightly modified uh, check, uh, preconditioning of the, of the data. Uh, I've tried my, but I'm not good, not good at machine learning. I'm a physics actually, but uh, I've tried for SVR, it's, more, it's stable, I know it well, and it's very, you can control it well, so why not trying for some other models? Okay, thank you guys. Girls, mates.